The next stop on our journey is the mean momentum of a quantum particle. First, let's recall how momentum is defined in classical mechanics. The momentum of a classical particle is the product of its mass, m, and its velocity, dx by dt. Let's carry this definition over to quantum mechanics in the following way. We'll define the mean momentum of a quantum particle as the product of its mass and mean velocity, namely the time derivative of its mean position. Clearly, this definition is perfectly consistent with our classical intuition. Based on what we've learned about the mean position of a particle, we can evaluate the mean velocity, d mean x by dt, in terms of the particle's wave function. We'll start by writing this quantity as the time derivative of the integral representing the mean position. Here, the time dependence comes through the squared modulus of the wave function. Let's now change the order of integration and differentiation. That is, we'll first differentiate the probability density with respect to t, and then multiply the result by x and integrate over the entire x line. Here comes a non-trivial step. The time derivative of the squared modulus of psi can be rewritten as a certain spatial derivative. More precisely, by using the Schrödinger equation, it can be transformed into the following expression. Going through all the steps leading to this expression is deferred as an exercise. I encourage you to carefully study this exercise. As always, a detailed solution is provided. Replacing the time derivative with our new expression, we obtain the following integral. The next step is to do this integral by parts, keeping in mind that psi rapidly vanishes at the integration boundaries, namely as x tends to plus or minus infinity. Once again, look for the details of this step in the exercise accompanying the lesson. Essentially, the integration by parts amounts to moving d by dx from the expression inside the parentheses, to x, and then changing the overall sign of the integral. The remaining step in this calculation is to do integration by parts again, now with respect to the second term in the parentheses. By moving d by dx from psi star to psi and changing the sign, we find that the contribution to the integral coming from the second term in the parentheses is the same as that coming from the first term. So, the two add up, and we obtain our final expression for the mean velocity of the particle. The mean momentum is obtained by multiplying the mean velocity by the particle's mass. This is the main result of this slide, the mean momentum of a particle expressed in terms of its wave function. Another very common name for this quantity is the momentum expectation value. 